hello guys and welcome to another video here and i'll be walking you through how to download the vmware workstation uh, basically the vmware workstation hosts several virtual machines and you'll be able to uh, host things like kali linux essi servers windows servers and windows machines as many as you want so in this video i'll be walking you through how to download and install the vmware workstation uh, the latest version and uh, usually sometimes downloading it is usually tricky so stay tuned while i walk you through the process all right so the first thing we need to do is to search the vmware uh, workstation pro um, download it takes us to the official website uh, we can click here the www.vmware.com we click over here and it takes us right to the main page all right, over here you're gonna see uh, to run Windows, Linux, and other virtual machine VMA Workstation Pro for Windows. You click on the download. Now it takes us to this page where we are able to um, uh, download. But before you're able to do that, you need to uh, register uh, with Broadcom. Broadcom is now the site where VMware hosts their products. So what we need to do is come over here to the top, click on this login button here, and click on register. It takes you to a new page. <coughs> Here you put in your email address, put in your email address, and then type in this uh, text that you see here, set GHL, and hit next. Now they're going to send you um, a verification code to your email address. I'm going to get mine in a bit. Okay, once you get it, you just type in the code, type whatever you get in your email, and click on verify. The next you'll be presented with a page where you need to fill in and complete a registration. We're going to quickly do that here. Okay. Alright, then you accept the condition and then click on create account. Alright, once you're done cre creating the account, um, great. So you just close this tab and come back to this page here and log in with the details you just registered with. right and then put in the password hit sign up sign in I mean and here we go this is the page um, for the Broadcom now you currently go to your my dashboard here over here in my dashboard okay so over here you type in VMware in the search button here and let me see if this workstation VMware workstation and search and let's see right so once you type that you click on this first one here um, as the published date 15 July so this would have basically everything we need VMware EXSSI workstation fusion and tools so you click on this and it's going to take you right to this page just scroll down to the bottom of the page where you're going to see the download links so over here we have cloud, VMs, uh, vSphere, EXSI, and what we're looking for is the workstation. Now if you're using MacBook, you can just click on VMware Fusion. But if you're using Windows and Linux, then just click on for the VMware workstation itself. So we're going to click on the uh, support Broadcom here. Click on that. It has the product downloads. It takes us to um, a download page. Now we're going to select if you're downloading for Windows or Windows. Windows. And we're going for Windows. We can select the most recent release here, and that takes us to the uh, another page. Now, on this page here, we need to accept the term, agree to the term. But if you can't do that until you click on the terms. So when you click on the terms, you probably can go and read through it. But once you've clicked it, that's what matters. When you come back, you'll be able to accept or agree to the terms, and then here will be made available for you to download. But that's not where it ends. Once you click on this. It's going to tell you prior to downloading this file, additional verification is required. Proceed. You click on yes. Once you do that, it will take you to a page. This page where we need to fill in our address. So you're going to fill in your address here and then click on agree and submit. I'm going to do that now. So all right. So once you once you submit, your address is going to boot up and now take you to the page where you can officially click on download and it should start downloading right now. So it's currently downloading right great so we're going to wait for it to finish downloading and then we can continue with the installation but once we're done downloading here we just click on our folder here it takes us to our download page 
now basically over here i usually would want to create a folder where i store um let me say tech tools or whatever so i can make it uh just stick it in there so over here in, i'll be you know where i can store um files or tools that i need for tech and you can just double tap on the vmware um, file here uh, the installation file here and then it starts to take you to the wizard for the installation all right there we go so um it's kind of booting up so let's wait a minute so once the wizard is up you just click on next uh, this is like the terms and condition you just click on i accept and click on next all right now so what this actually means uh is um hyper v is what you you need in windows machine to be able to run a uh, vmware properly you can read more about this when you click on this link and matter of fact if you click on that it says if vmware workstation this or newer is run on a windows host via hyper v and vbs is enabled vms will be launched using windows hypervisor uh, platform technology vms will fail to launch if the release version of this technology is not a particular level so in my case i think in order to just be on the safer side just click on yeah install windows hyper version automatically for me and click on next and then uh, you say add this to the console in system part which is normal uh, you can also change uh, where you want this to be installed but it's normally uh, fine to have that installed in the program files so you click on next um, check for product updates on startups yeah I'm allowing that and join the VMware customer improvements I'm not interested in that and then you can just click next uh, it's going to create a shortcut once it's done and you can also be able to find it on the start menu so you click next and then when you click on install it to start the proper installation so let's click on that and then let's wait for it to uh, you know install all right so once it's done you just click on finish and we're going to go we're going to launch the vmware here and you'll be able to actually see it on the start menu here so i'm just going to click on that um it takes you right to the home page here uh, actually, I already had VMware installed and I've already been making use of it, but yeah, so basically this is it, but I'm still going to walk you through how to install some uh, virtual machines, which is quite uh, easy uh, on this home page. If you open up the page or once it loads and you see something like this, you can always like, um, you know, click on file and add new machine or new virtual machine and go through the installation of Visa. Uh, but that's not in this video. I'm going to walk through that in a different video and uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any issues, you can always put that in the comment and if I missed anything as well. So have a nice day and ciao.